I did, okay, I, I coach a lot of people, right? And I, uh, the first thing I tell somebody is, is this, ditch the damn list, ditch the list, because the list are things that you check off the boxes. That is the biggest, that's the most bullshit I ever heard. Let me tell you why. Because what people do with the list, and a lot of ladies have the list, and what the list is are things like, okay, he makes over $100,000 a year. Okay, he's got a big house. Okay, he has no kids. And what happens when you make the list, the only reason you're making the list is because you believe that if he possesses these things, I'm going to be happy. Okay? You just you only make the list because you believe that the list I, the list is going to make you happy. I'm not talking about non-negotiables. I'm not talking about things that are things that I have to have in a relationship. I'm not talking about your core values. You know, I help people develop their core values, not a fucking list. And so when you when you when you develop the list, right? You attach your emotions and your imagery, your ideology, and your fantasy to the list, right? And so now. You have the image in your head of what this guy should look like, the guy that's going to make you happy. And, and see, when people I coach, the reason why they're getting into a relationship, great relationships is because I tell them this. I say, did the list. I said, what I want you to do is not to focus on what he has, focus on who he is. Uh oh, what? Don't focus on what he has or what he does. Focus on who he is. Because at the end of the day, the only reason you think, the only reason you think that if I get these things, I'm going to be happy. If I get a big house, I'm going to be happy. Okay, if I get a nice car, if you've got a Bentley, a Rose, an Escalade, I'm going to be happy. The truth of the matter is none of that will make you happy because it, happiness is an internal job. And so when he doesn't fit the image in your head, here's what happens. You've created a fantasy of who this person is that's going to make you happy. But the fantasy never focuses on how the person is going to make you feel. It only focuses on what the person has or what they're going to do. Man, that is powerful. So what you'll do is you'll let a good man get by. You'll let a good man walk. You'll let a good man because he doesn't fit this image. Because he might not have a six pack. But he has everything that you're desiring. And then you ask God. You say, God, give me a man that's going to love me. Give me a man that's not going to cheat on me. Give me a man who's going to love my children. Who's going to be about family. Give me a man who's going to work hard for me. Give me a man who's going to protect me. Give me a man who's going to make me emotionally secure. And then when he brings you the man, because the man isn't packaged the way it is in your head, you discard him. 